What's going on everybody? So today we're gonna talk about how I got this Ultimate Legend Calvin. All right, pretty much guys, sometimes, okay, look, look, you, you know, you'll see a guy post something up like that, like that collectible right there, right? You could have got it for a different type of snipe or whatever like that, depending on who puts it up. But when you see something that's so recent for a player like Calvin Johnson or whoever is like a real, um, a catch or a fine, you gotta do your research really, really quickly and get back there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look. I look first to see what Calvins are available. Cause you see what I'm saying? I really want this one, the boss edition, but you know, whatever, it is what it is, bro. I think that they capped the speed after like 95 anyway. So whatever, um, I'll, I'll settle for the 98, which is what I'm gonna show you right now, how I got it. But that boss Calvin is something fierce, dog. Like seriously, it's something fierce. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you look through to see like the amount of coins I have. I got 1.2 mil. All right, so I just wanted to make sure that there was no Calvins for that that amount or less because sometimes dudes put it up. So I saw the one up there for 1.78. So I'm like, all right, let me go back here and see what's really, really good. I'm gonna start getting these things. All right, let's start putting the stuff together because, all right, I, I don't have 1.78. You see what I'm saying? So now we know because of the amount that collectible was, maybe there's a way that we can go the other way and get them. All right, so you look at it, all right, do I have the coins? All right, maybe I have to do whatever. But I was just wanted to take a look at this rookie edition card, though, because I, I want to have multiple Calvins, but I need dudes with decent run block, and I don't really like Heinz Ward because of his height and his face, so I don't really want to deal with that. So I was looking to make sure that I can um, uh, just, just really cross out the fact that this rookie edition Calvin Johnson didn't have the proper attributes. But... um. Yeah, he had very, very low run block or whatever like that. It was like some really, really craziness. Um, what, what, what was it? I can't really... What, I, let me go down. Let me go down real quick. Hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, 52. I didn't like that too much. That was kind of garbage. I, I, I need dudes that pancake dudes without the syrup, though. You see what I'm saying, bro? Like straight IHOP action. And, um, you know, he just didn't do that for me. But like I said, even though I'm going to put him in a set, I just want to make sure... Because some, I know last year they had like that strength edition, which will come in handy in this year, but they didn't have one uh, for, for this, you know, ultimate edition, whatever. So he wasn't a guy that I'm going to buy a separate card for after I get the ultimate 98 overall. So we're going to move on from this after I see that his impact block is a 54. Like, he, he's not really doing anything for me, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? I need dudes just going to smack guys across the face and throw them into the stands. And he just didn't, he, he wasn't suitable for that. So he's just gonna go directly into the set and that won't be a card that I try to get. Now we're gonna go back and then bam, out of nowhere. You see what I'm saying, bro? Right there, we got that. So now that we know we have that, we're gonna go now and we have to make up the, uh, what is that? The, uh, we need 600K for the other one, I think it was. So guys, we all have players on our teams that are worth different amounts. You're gonna wanna go, depending on what you have, you're gonna wanna go and, and fucking sell the hell out of somebody a little bit under whatever it is, okay? So simply go there. Uh, EA, this, these are things that I'm talking about that are good pointers. You see how they made it a lot easier? Like when you click on something, you can go right back to it. That actually speeds up the process. Um, they still could make it so that when you're doing a set, you could select a lot a lot more than one to put in a set to make it faster, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're doing uh, 10 coaches, you could click all 10 coaches and put them in the set at once instead of having to go one, one, one. But like things like that where it goes back to the screen and then, you know, these are good things that they're building on. You know, all they gotta do now is build on gameplay and not have ridiculousness going on and it'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? Regardless uh, of whatever else you guys have complaints about, the gameplay overall in Madden 16 is what makes it really, really unbearable. So either way, we're gonna go ahead and continue. Um, we're gonna get rid of this Anthony Barr. You guys know I love Barr, but I really didn't see any difference between this Barr and the other Barr that, that I had. So it didn't really matter to me to get rid of this clown. Um, I just had to do it really, really quickly. So once I knew that I was gonna sell because people are always lurking Barr, 6'5", crazy speed. He's gonna sell immediately on a regular. So I'm gonna just sit here right quick. You see what I'm saying? I, I'll just sit here and you're gonna see in the top right, it's gonna come up that my item has sold and I'm gonna try to buy it. But always remember guys, even if you try to click on it and your item has sold, EA doesn't register it in your coins, so it's gonna tell you that you don't have enough coins to buy it. You see what I'm saying? Like right there, my auction is, has sold. So bam, I'm gonna try to buy it now. But because it hasn't registered yet, it's gonna tell you, look, you're a dumbass. You don't have enough coins to purchase this. All right, cool. So now you go back, and you gotta wait for it to show you that you you know, you know sold them or whatever like that. Bar sold, great, great, great. Now you run back like a wild bat out of hell or a crackhead that didn't have his fix and get your ass back there to buy that because it's gonna be gone. Dudes are lurking all times of the day, midnight, all kinds of nights with the night. Make sure that you do what you have to do really, really quickly. 
because it's really, really imperative if you want to get these cards, bro, or these uh, collectibles. Listen, I don't, yo, Calvin Johnson is my new Randy Moss because for whatever reason, Randy Moss is not available anymore. Maybe he's like, you know what, guys, go F yourselves. I don't want you using my likenesses no more. I don't know what that situation is, but I, it's only very few people I would do this for. Calvin Johnson, you know, he, he had a really decent career. I know he's retired, you know, allegedly. I don't know if he's going to come back. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but he's the only thing that I could actually say that as a wide receiver, I really, really enjoyed watching when he was in his prime. You know, he did, you know, fall off a little bit due to injuries, things like that. But it is what it is. Now that we have all that stuff going on, I want to make sure that my lineup is correct because I just sold bar and I don't like to uh, complete sets while I'm lacking, you know, in certain areas and my, my lineup isn't set. So we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at my lineup so I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, I got rid of Anthony Barr, so there's going to be a gap in my middle linebacker position because that's where I start him. Um, yeah, I could start him at other positions to make my overall higher. I'm not really on it like that. I don't really care, and I hate having to do subs, you know, pressing the R1 button on uh, PS4 and subbing them in there. I just like to come out in the game and have them all set, but regardless, I'm going to try to, um, you know, put some things together right now and show you guys what I'm talking about to, to make it a little bit more of a higher overall, just to make guys happy. Uh, it's going to go up by, like, I think, like one point or something. I don't even know what it's going to do. Again, I don't really give a F, so it's not really, it doesn't really matter to me, but I'm going to, I'm going to put different players in different positions because after the patch because there's certain ways that the b gap will come in and it's not really consistent it doesn't really pay for me to put von miller on the d line anymore i can actually move him back and what and, and see what he does coming off the edge or whatever like that as a linebacker so this is just looking at how i actually formulate my plan to upgrade you know where guys are and what they're doing you know what i'm saying so you guys get like an in-depth look of how I'm doing it, because I would never keep Nagata out there. I just have him there now so that I could, you know, sub guys in and move guys around. So obviously we all know that Zadarius Smith is a 93 at, uh, at right end at this point. You guys should know that. I made a video way back. I'm pretty sure it was all over Twitter and all over social media that, that Chef the Star was a 93 at um, right end, even though he's a left end. But regardless of that situation, we're going to go ahead and put these other players in their regular positions because... At this point, like I said, at this point, I might as well do my subs until I find some real consistent B-gap. And I've been labbing a lot, guys, and doing different things. And I found a couple. And uh, if you guys were at my last G Myers World Twitch stream, uh, definitely uh, you would know that I had a couple B-gaps coming in and stuff like that. But it's, it, it doesn't really matter as much because the offensive line is so intelligent now. So you just got to be careful with that. I wouldn't recommend, you know, leaving these guys out of position as much. You might as well put them where they're supposed to go and see what your overall could be because it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Um, unt again, until you find consistent, because I, it, it'll come in sometimes. Like I've had B gaps come in like twice in a row, and don't and, and it didn't come in again for the rest of the game. So just don't think that it's gonna be very very consistent the way it was before. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you, you whatever until it's like validated that this thing is gonna be coming in regularly. Do something different. Pretty much is what I'm trying to tell you. So we're, gonna, we're just going to move guys around. I, you know, why, why would I? No, I don't want Bob Miller at middle linebacker. He's only 6'3". I got to have the bar in there, but I'm going to use the other bar. So I might as well, I'm going to switch it up and try to put, um, I'm going to put the other guy over there. Yeah, no, but I don't like that. I think I'm going to switch it out. I don't like, I don't like bar there. I'll leave bar at middle linebacker and just put him, uh, I don't know. Maybe I could switch it out a little bit. I'll probably just switch it out because I don't want to keep him there. I'll put him on the side or something. Put him out at a left, uh, left outside linebacker maybe. Uh, Cause you, you know what I'm saying? Like Bar, he's a 93 speed with, with the 88 overall card. So why the hell would I keep the 97 when there's a chance for me to get Calvin Johnson? You see what I'm saying, guys? So you got to make sure that you understand what do you really want. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, and then just 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 go there and undercut somebody by like 50 coins. You know, you bro, you know the Mutt auction house is real savage, like bro. Like I'll put a card up and then come back like a second later and do put it up for 25 coins less, and they'll buy that card. Like bro, listen, man, it's really really crazy out there. So do what you need to do to get your card sold, and that's why I just showed you we're doing it with the Anthony Bar. So now this is just the process that I go through before I do anything else, just to make sure everything is set so that is, that message doesn't doesn't keep coming up about there being a gap and all kind of craziness going on. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. You guys get the, get the point of what I'm doing there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add these things in, and this is how you get to play the solo. You know what I'm saying? This is how, you know, this is how I got them. You know, once you put all this stuff in, they made it now so that you just don't get the card. You also now have to play a solo to complete it. But this is how you get them. This is, you gotta freaking lurk the auction house like a wild savage or 
get him straight up. And if he's less or around the same amount of coins you got, you might as well just buy him. So you don't have to play the solo. Because I know a lot of guys just dread playing solos. So you don't have to do it. If you can do it, uh, you know, another way, whatever. But this is how I did it. And it may work that way because people have problems understanding that. Look, sometimes you got to sell cards. Under, you got to undercut and do what you got to do in order to get other things that you need. So hopefully this, this shows you what you need to do. Stay tuned because next you're going to see me play the solo to get Calvin Johnson. One love.